This is The Lone Reader with Cameron Johnson. Some people just can't handle real life. What's more, they don't have to. They text on their little handhelds, and that's just the way they like it. This is Cameron Johnson of the Everett Public Library, and the book is Alone Together, Why We Expect More from Technology and Less from Each Other by Sherry Turkle. Turkle's a professor at MIT, an odd place for a tech skeptic, but her studies show that wired-in people, she calls them tethered, find life on their little screens much better than real life. They prefer text to talk because texting lets them edit their messages beforehand. See, in the real world, they might say something stupid or show their emotions, and that's uncomfortable. That's uncool. Texting is safe, secure, in control, and cool. Tethered people choose to live online in virtual worlds. Online games like World of Warcraft offer adrenaline without risk, a controlled environment of rules and clear goals. By comparison, reality is unpredictable and harsh. Social software like Facebook lets them create a cool avatar identity that is mostly bogus. But what happens when this digital hokum surfaces in 10 years during that big job interview? Half this book is about how people like to bond with sociable robots like My Real Baby and Paro, the therapeutic robot for lonesome seniors. Why are people becoming comfortable with such travesties? Because they're not quirky like people are, they're safe, comfortable, Urschleim in silicon. What Turkle lays out is this. Technology keeps us in our comfort zone by shutting out other people. My question is, what happens to civil society then? The book is Alone Together by Sherry Turkle. This has been The Lone Reader with Cameron Johnson.